which takes us on to week three, your site architecture. Um, that really covers the behind-the-scenes coding on your website. To make, that, make sure that's as, as efficient as possible and search engines don't get turned off to begin with when they actually start to read the code behind each web page, um, your navigation structure and your on-site optimization. Okay, so in terms of um, behind-the-scene coding, it needs to be as efficient as possible. Now, this is fairly technical, and you've, you've probably got coders, you know, IT people, but um, all you need to know is, is you need to ensure that things called style sheets um, aren't on every single page within your website. In other words, every bit of technical coding within your website isn't stored on every single page. It's actually stored on a file outside, outside your web pages. And each individual web page isn't, is as efficient as possible in that ser when search engines read it, they get straight to your content. They get straight to your, what your title is, what your heading is, and what the actual text is on your page. So they can easily determine what each page is about. Um, your page should also be ordered correctly for search engines. What that means is that um, if you have big categories, you know, links to other pages in your website, you can actually have little bits of code within the top of your page that says to search engines, don't read this first. Uh, the first thing to read is actually what the title of the page is about, what the heading is, and what the content is. And then after you've read that, then you can read all the links, you know, and other um, links to other pages in the site. But if you, if you read the specific content, first of all, it's helping search engines determine the precise relevance of each page. And if they know the relevance of each page, then they're more, much more likely to be able to determine it and actually say, yes, we should be listing that page highly in search engine results for a particular keyword phrase. Um, navigation structure. Um, it's important that um, your keyword phrases are incorporated within your category links, you know, within your individual page links as well. So if you've got a link you know, to a page which is about business ethics articles, you know, that link should say business ethics articles. You know, it should be a, a text link that says that. And then people click on that link, they get to that page. It helps search engines determine that 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 must be what that page is about that it's linking to. So if you have the text, the, the actual um, keyword text, what the page is about that you're linking to within your navigation structure, then it's really aiding search engines. Um, so again, you can, this is demonstrated in the website Destination Guide TV by having a look at the different categories. You know, you've got Europe travel videos, you know, but if you go to United Kingdom travel videos, if you want to link back to Europe travel videos, it's using the keyword phrase Europe travel, travel videos to actually go back. It helps search engines determine that that's what that category is about. So I'd like to cover now the eight essential aspects of on-site optimization. Um, number one, the page title. A page title is that little blue bar right at the top of your page. Um, you possibly haven't noticed it before. You know, whichever browser you use, Firefox, Internet Explorer, it'll be up there. You know, this, this particular one says the place to share travel video is Destination Guide TV. So I, the keyword phrase I'm aiming at for this home page is travel videos. Now, the website's just been published, you know, so nowhere near the top of search engines at the moment. You know, but I'm targeting you know, roughly next summer or so for it to be featuring at the top of search engines for that keyword phrase. Um, the way I'm doing that, you know, I'm, 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 I've focused on my on-site search engine optimization. I'll be doing other internet marketing to actually achieve that as well. But one of the things I've done is to include travel videos within the page title. Um, just one little thing to bear in mind with the page title is it's good for it to be roughly 70 characters or less. If you actually have it as much more now, that page title appears in search engine results, but it will be cut off. And then if people search for your web pages, if, you, if they search for a keyword phrase, and they, they don't actually see the description of what your web page is about in search results, then they'll be less likely to, to click through and visit your web page. So you know, 70 characters or less is a good length for your page title. Number two, your meta description. Now, your meta description um, isn't actually counted as part of search engine algorithms, but it is important in terms of actually getting more visitors to your website. Now, I'll show you what it is and, and why it's important. Um, if you look on a web page and you, you click the right mouse button and you click view page source, then what will happen is you'll, you'll get a little pop-up window that, uh, that shows a little bit of code, that um, something like this. Now, quite near the top, you should have what's called a meta description um, in your coding. 
And this one says, user-generated travel videos reviewing destinations all, all over the world. Now, it explains what that individual web page is about. You can have a different meta description for each web page. But the important thing about the meta description is it's the text that's displayed underneath your web page title and search results when it's found in search engines. So you can actually control the text that's shown you know, when your website's found in search results. Now, that could radically improve your conversion rates through from search engines. You know, if they find your, people find your web pages, obviously they're, they're not going to click on every single result or they're not likely to click on every result. So you need to persuade them that you're the more likely website for what they're looking for. So to do that, you need to have a relevant, decent meta description, and it needs to be different for every page, again, on your web, website. If you're using the same meta description for every web page, you're, you're losing customers because it's not keyword specific. You know, it needs to be specific towards what people are actually searching for. Number three is something called heading tags. Now, heading tags, again, having a look at the page source here as well, uh, are H1, um, the place to share travel videos. That's um, a heading tag, an H1 tag. Um, Heading tags come in different formats, H1, H2, H3, and they're basically different levels of heading tags, different levels of importance. You're telling search engines which text um, your page is about, so what your heading is on your page. Uh, and if my page is about the place to share travel videos and I incorporate my keyword phrase within the heading tag, then again, I'm telling search engines that's what the page is about, so you're more likely to actually hopefully display um, this page for that keyword phrase because it's got a heading tag about it and explaining to search engines that's, that's what the page is about. So remember to include your keyword phrase within a heading tag.